Hey guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge, and welcome to another week of school lunch inspiration. Okay friends, now I wanna jump right in here, but before I do, just a couple of things. First off, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Also, I have some shout outs to do. This week it's going to Amanda's Daily Dish. And our Instagram shout out is going to Marissa Nye. Now let's get started. Hi guys. And happy Monday. So usually on Monday I like to pack PB&J, but I also have another theme to today's lunch, and that is use what you've got, because I didn't make it to the grocery store over the weekend, and so I'm kind of just using what we've got on hand, which means a little bit of a different look. What do you think, guys? It looks good. It, cool. looks, it looks interesting, huh? Yeah. Well, I started by prepping the vegetables, which were getting a little bit dried out. So I did go ahead and trim off the ends a little bit. So we have carrots and snap peas in there with a little bit of ranch for dipping. Over in this corner, I have some watermelon left over from this weekend. And I did go ahead and make that cute by using my flour cookie cutter. Of course, I added a cute little pick just for fun. Then over in this corner, I added a little Baby Bell cheese. I found these way in the back of the fridge, and cheese stays good for a long time, so I think that'll be fine. Now, the interesting thing is the PB&J today because I was out of regular sandwich bread, so instead I'm using some leftover hot dog buns from this weekend. I just added some chunky peanut butter and some of this blueberry acai jam, and hopefully the kids will like it. And then lastly, in this back section, I just added some of these cheddar rockets. These are a lot like goldfish crackers, but I just had a little bit of the box left, so I wanted to use them up. What do you guys think? It looks interesting. It looks <laughs> really yummy. Well, the bread is really nice and soft, so I think it should be really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the lids on here. The kids are just gonna have water today. I don't have a special drink or anything. And when we get back, we'll show you what we ate. Okay, friends, it is several hours later on Monday, and we're just now checking lunches. I have Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily with me. Say hello. Hello. So what'd you think of today's lunch? I liked it. I liked it. Yeah? I liked it. Well, the kids did end up eating this lunch in the car. I know when we got the new car, I said they would not be eating in the car, and that was the new rule. Well, we've long since broken that rule because we're just always on the go. So overall, the kids did really well, especially because they were eating in the car. And I don't think any of it got spilled, right? No. Nope. Yep. Nope. No or yes? Uh, yes. Yes, you did spill. What'd you spill? Uh, some water. Some water. Well, at least that's at least that's easy to clean up. So you can tell Mackenzie ate everything. Jackson ate almost everything, and Lily just has a few crackers and one little carrot and the outside of her peas. But I knew those were getting a little bit tough, so I'm not surprised. Overall, they did a really great job today. Good job, guys. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hi guys. And welcome to Tuesday. So today I made some homemade Lunchables. I feel like it's been a long time since I've made that. What do you think, Mackenzie? It looks cool. So I started by cutting out the cheese. I used a combination of Havarti cheese and cheddar cheese. I had just a little bit of each left in my fridge and I wanted to use it up. And to make it really fun, I just used my heart-shaped cookie cutter. Next, I rolled up some lunch meat. This is actually a rotisserie seasoned chicken. So I just rolled it up and sliced it and then got it on this really fun skewer so the kids can DIY it. Take a cracker, take some cheese, and take some meat. And for our crackers today, I just gave the kids some of these golden round crackers from Trader Joe's. They are just like Ritz crackers. Back over here, I gave the kids lots of strawberries. I really need to use these up, so I'm hoping the kids will eat them all. And in this back corner, I just have a few pieces of celery, and I don't have any homemade ranch today, but I do have some of this Bolt House Farms cilantro avocado dressing, and I think the kids will like it. This one's a yogurt-based dressing, so it's, it's really, really, really good. Yeah, I like it, and it's really easy. Sometimes I just don't have time to make my own. Now I am sending the kids with a treat today. They each have two little Oreo cookies, but these are special Oreo cookies. They're the kettle corn. 
kettle corn. Yes, we're very excited. We love kettle corn. There's actually several new flavors of Oreos out right now. They had cherry cola, pina colada, and kettle corn. So we went for the kettle corn this time. There's actually puffed millet pieces inside. And I think they just taste like sweet caramel. I don't know that yeah. they necessarily taste like corn, but they are pretty tasty. So each of the kids just have two in there. And then I finally, finally got more juice from Costco. So I'm just giving the kids an apple juice today. And they will also be taking their waters. And that is everything in the lunch today. What do you think, Mackenzie? That looks great. So I definitely want to get all of my lids on here. And I will need to put an ice pack in there today because of the chicken. But that is it. And we'll see you after lunch. We're back home well, now. Good job. Oh, bless you, Kenzie. <laughs> we were having some pollen here. It is making our allergies really bad. My eyes are totally watering. But anyway, back to the lunches. So you can tell they did pretty well today, except I'm seeing a lot of strawberries. What was wrong with the strawberries, guys? They were just a little bit moldy on mine. Moldy? Uh, yeah, just a little bit like um, inside. Oh no, I didn't mm -hmm. see, I didn't. I didn't see any mold. I just knew that they were a little bit old, but. And no mold. What? I didn't eat my big strawberry because there was a black dot at the bottom. A black dot? Oh, yeah. I see that now. But that's okay. It looks like you guys did really well on everything else. Did you share any with Griffin? Uh, yeah. I showed some meat and I showed, showed some cookies. Well, that was good of you to share. So what was your favorite part? The Oreos. The Oreos? Oreos. <laughs> that didn't take you long. Oh yeah, those Oreos were really good. Now I forgot to say this, but today's lunch was nut free. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't forget this time. Now tomorrow's lunch is going to be a hot lunch. So we'll be putting it in the thermos. Are you guys excited? Yeah. You're like, eh, okay mom, <laughs> whatever. Well, remember my thermos is locked. No, we got you a new one. Oh, yeah. yeah, we took her thermos to Disneyland and it got lost, but we got our new one, so it's okay. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Hi, guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Right now, I've got Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily here helping me. What do you guys think? It looks it's cool. cool. It came uh -huh. out pretty colorful. So I actually started by slicing up some mangoes. Now I actually had two mangoes that were not so good and one mango that is really good. But I went ahead and mixed them together. And I went ahead and put them in a separate container and I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on there so it doesn't spill and get everything else wet. In the thermoses today, I'm giving the kids some of these new chicken meatballs. We've never tried these before, but these ones look really tasty. They have Parmesan cheese inside. And they also have some of these, which I'm not gonna say out loud. So I just heated those up and got them into the thermos. Now to go along with that today, I'm also giving the kids some broccoli. I just gave them a few pieces. And in our little container, of course, we have ranch to go with the broccoli. And then I also gave the kids some bread. This is like a roll, like a hot dog bun. So if they want to, they can take their meatballs and put them on the bread and make like a meatball sub. Oh yes, and of course I'm also giving the kids an extra treat today. We have some of these yogurt pretzels. I get these at Trader Joe's and they're definitely one of our favorites. Does that look like enough, you guys? Yeah. What do you think is going to be your favorite? I am yogurt pretzels. <laughs> Nobody knows. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my lids on here and get them in the lunch boxes and then... We'll see you when we get back. Bye. We're back. <laughs> All right, now I have to say, I kind of had to force some of these kids to try the meatballs. They were very, they were very reluctant, but I, I see really that like Mackenzie them. ate all of hers. Jackson, you ate all of yours? And Lily, she ate all of hers too, but did you share some with Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. But they tasted good, right? Yeah. You just weren't sure about them. You should I always... You should always try it because you might like it. Let's see, Mackenzie ate everything else except one little piece of broccoli. Same with Jackson and Lily. Oh, you're gonna eat that now? And then Lily left quite a bit of her bread. So what was your favorite part, you guys? 
The yogurt pretzels. Yogurt pretzels <laughs> and the meatballs. I'm yeah, not I surprised. really like meatballs too. Oh good. Well I'll definitely make those again. Good morning guys and happy Thursday. <laughs> Good morning. So I just finished packing the lunch. What do you guys think? It looks great, uh huh? It looks like a lot of stuff. I hope you guys are gonna be hungry today. So I actually went with something new today. I tried to make a lunch that was both wheat-free, nut-free, dairy-free. And we're all from Trader Joe's. Uh, almost all from Trader Joe's. <laughs> In this little container, I have a cutie orange for the kids. I have some sugar snap peas. And then over here, I have some cookies. Now, like Mackenzie says, these are from Trader Joe's. These are the soft bake snickerdoodles. And they're wheat free, milk free, peanut free, egg free, and soy free. They're actually really good. They taste like a really uh, mild gingerbread cookie, but like, they, like it says, they are soft. Then over in this corner, I have some corn chip dippers. These are also from Trader Joe's and these are so good. These are very much like the Fritos version. Um, so you can scoop whatever you wanna scoop with them. And so what I did for the kids, I went ahead and put some vegetarian chili in their thermoses. This is also from Trader Joe's. There's no meat in here, no dairy. It's actually really good. I've had it before, but the kids haven't had it. So I hope they like it. Over in this corner, I have a little fruit pouch. This is the apple strawberry flavor. And then I am giving the kids some juice today. This is the organic fruit punch from Costco. Plus, this is from Trader Joe's too. That is from Trader Joe's. You can tell I shop at Trader Joe's and Costco quite a lot. Oh yes, I am remembering to put a little spoon fork in there today. So they can scoop. Fork knives. <laughs> so they can scoop out their chili. It might be a little hard for them to dip in the thermos, but that's okay, it'll still be good. And we'll see you after lunch. Bye. Welcome back, guys. It's time to see how these guys did today. What'd you think? It was uh -huh. good. It was good? Let's see. Kenzie, you ate your chili. I'm surprised. Did you like it? Yeah. And Jackson has a few bites left. What'd you think, Jack? No, that was actually Oh, that one's yours. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're both blue, just different shades of blue. So Lily has a few bites left. And Jackson... His is mostly gone. Mackenzie ate everything else. Jackson has just a few chips left. And Lily, you left all of your peas? <laughs> you normally really like peas. What happened? What is there stuff on oh, my dad? I have time to eat it. Oh, you didn't have time. I thought that she was tricking us. Like, no, there, like she ate all she of left them all. Normally she eats all of her peas. But that's okay. Overall, I think they did pretty well. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the chili. The chili. Well, I would definitely buy that again because I think it's really good and it was really easy too. It wasn't even like chili, but it was just like beans. Yeah, it wasn't spicy. It was really good. Although I think I'd like it better if it had cheese. But then it would have dairy in it, wouldn't it? I'd like it better if it was, had sour cream. Sour cream, yeah, that would be good too. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning guys and happy Friday. Today I have a special Avengers themed lunch. The kids haven't seen it yet. Do you guys want to come see? Yeah. Come see. Spider-Man. Cool. Yeah, we have Spider-Man and the Hulk and Iron Man and even Black Panther. Have you guys ever seen the Avengers movies? No. No, I haven't. They're pretty cool. I only seen one short show of Spider-Man. Yeah. Well, in honor of the new Avengers movie, I decided to create an Avengers lunch today. Now, just like most of my themed lunches, I started with a fun napkin. I couldn't find Avenger-specific napkins, so I went with Spider-Man. And I also added some cupcake liners. I have Avengers and then just red. I'm kind of going with a red, white, and blue theme here. Next, I added some fruit and veggies, some tomatoes, and blueberries. Perfect for the color scheme today. For the main part of our lunch today, we went with a PB&J, but instead of using regular bread, I used a Spider-Man waffle. Doesn't that look cool, you guys? Yeah! And this is actually a mixed berry waffle. So there's little bits of strawberry and blueberries inside the waffle as well. Now, just for fun, I did go ahead and add some picks in here. This is just a little Spider-Man ring. It's meant for a cupcake. And then I have some of these really fun picks. Mackenzie's getting Thor, which is my personal favorite. Jackson has the Hulk, and Lily's getting Iron Man. But they're all good, right? Yeah, because uh, when you rip them around. Yeah, they actually have a different character on the other side. So that's Captain America, 
and Iron Man and Hulk's on that side. Oh. Yeah, now to drink, I do have an extra special juice today. Mackenzie's getting the Spider-Man one, Jackson's getting the Hulk, and Lily's getting Black Panther. Yeah, I love Black Panther. Have you ever seen that movie? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I've seen it and it's a good movie. Okay, just a few more things in today's lunch. I am giving the kids a Greek yogurt. This is in a really fun pouch, and of course we have Spider-Man. Now, unfortunately, the box only came with two strawberries and two grapes, so Mackenzie's getting the grape one and everyone else is getting strawberry. I hope that's okay, Mackenzie. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be tasty. Now, in here, do you guys know what these are? No. Now, they do look like cold french fries, but they're not. These are actually potato snacks. Just like this, and they're crunchy. They're kind of like a chip, but they look like a french fry. So they're like potato chips? Yeah, they're actually from Trader Joe's. They're really tasty. So that is everything in the lunch today. It looks super cool and fun. I think the kids are going to love it. I need to get all of my lids on. I definitely need an ice pack today for the yogurt. And after lunch? We'll show you what we ate. Lunch is over now, and here's what we did. Here's what we did. Actually, it looks like they did pretty good. Mackenzie ate everything. Good job, Kenzie. I had just enough. You had just enough. And Jackson just has a few bites, and Lily has just a couple more than that. But that was kind of a lot of food for her. Did you share any of it with Griffin? Um, I, I shared some juice with him. Some juice? Was the juice good? Yeah. Yeah. And how were the little french fry chips? Those are so good. So good? Lily has a few left, but... I actually had two more bowls. Two more bowls? Because she ate mine. I don't think Griffin liked them, though. He kind of like sucked on them and then spit them out. Ew. And Mackenzie ate mine. Mackenzie ate yours, too? Because that's why she said we all ate Lily's. too good. <laughs> good job today, guys. And we'll see you next week. Okay friends, let me know in the comments down below, out of all of today's lunches, which one was your favorite? Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.